Okay, let's look at the case slip. It's based on the election data and some conditions are also given here. Says that an election several candidates contested for the constituency. In any constituency, the winning candidate was the one who pulled the highest number of votes. The first runner up was the one who pulled the second highest and so on. There were no ties in any of the constituents in the election. In an electoral system, a security deposit is a sum of money that is a candidate is required to pay to the election commission before he or she is permitted to the contest. Only the defeated candidates, look at this, it's very important. Only the defeated candidates, that is one who is not the winning candidate, who failed to secure more than one sixth of the valid votes pulled in constituency, lose their security deposit. So if you are not able to get more than one sixth of the total votes pulled, you will have to lose your security deposit here. Now some conditions are also given here and this is the incomplete table. The first one is what number of valid votes, number of candidates contesting, then number of valid votes, then the votes obtained by the winning candidate, then first runner up, second runner up and for third one, the value is given in terms of percentage. Read the first clue, it says that the first runner up polled 10,000 more votes than the second runner up in the constituency A. First runner up got 95,000 which is 10,000 more than the number of votes polled by the second runner up. So this value must be equal to how much? 85,000. Fine. And if you look at the total number of votes polled, there were 5 lakh. And one sixth of uh, 5 lakh would be somewhere close to what? 83,000. And when you add these three values, the sum comes out to be 4,55,000. Out of 5 lakh votes, the first three contestants got 4,55,000. So how many are left? Only 45,000. That means the remaining seven people will never get more than one sixth of the votes because the third runner up will never get more than 83,000 votes. So definitely he loses security deposit. And the remaining six will also lose their security deposit here. Okay. What's the next one? Uh, none of the candidates who contested in constituency C lost their security deposit. How many people contested from here? Five. And none of them will lose their none of them will lose their security deposit. That means everybody will manage to get more than one sixth of the votes. What is one sixth of this? One sixth of six lakh thirty would be. 1 lakh, 1 lakh, 5 votes. So everybody will get more than 1 lakh, 5 votes here. And how many people were there? 5. And there is one more condition. The minimum difference between any two candidates would be what? 10,000. So what I can say that the last person will get at least 1 lakh, 6 votes. The person above him should get at least 10,000 votes more than him. So let's assume that he get 10,000 more votes than him. So he'll get 1 lakh 10,006. 1 lakh 20,006. 1 lakh 30,006. Then 1 lakh 40,006. Will it match it here? If you add up these values, it comes out to be 6 lakh 30, which were the total number of votes. That means this is the correct distribution. So the winner will get how much? 1,40,006 votes. First runner up will get 1,30,006 votes. The next one will get 1,20,006. The third runner up will get 1,10,006. How many people were there? This is 1,40, 1,30, 1,20, 1,10. And the fifth person will get 1,6 votes. So I'm done with C. I've got the two complete data for the contestant C here. Okay. What's the third clue? The winning candidate in the constituency D polled 5% of the valid votes more than that of the first runner-up. Okay. That means this person, winning candidate, will get 5% more votes than whom? The first runner-up. First runner-up got 37,500 votes here. So the winner can winning candidate will get 37,500 plus 5 percent of the valid votes. All the candidates who lost their security deposits while contesting for the constituency put together pulled 35 percent of the valid votes. But I don't know how many out of these eight will lose their security deposit here. 
But if you look at these values, this is 30,000. This is 37,500. I don't know this value as well as this one. Let's assume that three people managed to get more than one six of the votes. So what does it mean? The remaining five will lose their security deposit here. And that value must be equal to how much? 35% of the total valid votes. So if you assume that the total valid votes are T, what I can write here? Winner got how much? 37,500. Then plus, you'll get 5% extra votes, 5% of T. First runner up got 37,500. Second runner up got 30,000 votes. And some of the votes obtained by the first three candidates must be equal to how much? 65% of total. So this 5% of T comes on this side, you get 60% of T. Yes or no? And 37,500 plus 37,500. This will give you 75,000. 75,000 plus 30,000 is how much? 1 lakh 5,000. Now, 1 lakh 5,000 is equal to 60% of total votes. When you solve it, you'll get total votes is equal to 1 lakh 75,000. This is one of the cases when I assume that three people will get at least one sixth of the votes and the remaining five will not get more than one sixth of the votes. But there is one more case. You can say that only first two person will get what more than one sixth of the votes. In that case, I'll write 37,500 plus 5% of T plus 37,500 is equal to 65% of T. But that will not match the remaining conditions here. There is only one possibility that the total number of valid votes are 1,75,000. So the first candidate will get how much? 37,500 plus 5% of this. 5% of 1,75,000 would be how much? 8,000. 750 8000 because this is 17500 half of 17500 would be 8750 so the first runner of a winner will get 37500 plus 5 percent of that that is 8750 so you'll get how many votes 5 12 2 1 carry forward 16 6 you'll get 46240 votes I've already filled the whole data here except for B here. If you look at the B, the total number of valid votes for 3,25,000. And when you calculate the one sixth of this person, this value, that would be more than 48,750. That means none of them were able to get more than one sixth of the votes. But the first person was a winner, so he will not lose his security deposit. But the remaining 11 people are going to lose their security deposit. Yes or no? Although I don't know the number of votes polled by them, neither first runner up or second or third, anybody. But all 12 of them will get less than one sixth of the total number of valid votes. Now let's look at the questions here. What is the percentage of votes polled in total by, by all the candidates who lost their security deposit while contesting for constituency A? Now this is constituency A. I know that only three people will manage to get more than one sixth of the votes. Yes or no? And they got how much? 45, 4 lakh 55,000. That means the remaining seven people are going to get only 45,000 votes. And what were the total valid votes? 5 lakh. So 45,000 is what percentage of 5 lakh? It's 9%. So my answer becomes how much? 9%. I hope this is clear to everyone. Let's move on to the next one. How many candidates who contested in constituency B lost their security deposit? It's an extra line, you can remove it. I know that all 12 of them got how much? Less than one sixth of the vote, but one of them has to be the winner. So the first one is a winner, although he did not get more than one sixth of the votes, one sixth of the total ballot. That means the remaining 11 people got less than one sixth of the total valid votes. So all of them are going to lose their security deposit. So my answer becomes how much? 11. Yes or no? Let's look at the third one. What best 
can be concluded about the number of votes polled by the winning candidate in constituency C. Lakh forty thousand six. So look at the range here. It's one lakh forty thousand six between one lakh forty thousand five and forty thousand ten. One lakh forty thousand ten less than two lakh. So the correct answer must be first option. That is one lakh forty thousand six. Let's move on to the next one. What was the number of valid votes polls in the constituency C? If you look at the first slide, we have already calculated it. It was how much? 1,75,000. So my answer becomes first option. Fine. What's the next one? The winning margin of a constituency, the winning margin of a constituency is defined as a difference of votes polled by the winner and that of the first runner. Which of the following cannot be the list constituencies in increasing order of the winning margin? Cannot be. The list cannot be the increasing order of winning margin. So let's try to find it out. That means I need what? I need a data like the number of votes poll obtained by the winner and the first runner up. Winner and the first runner up. How do we find it? Let's look at the first table. For A, winner got how much? He got 2,75,000 and the first runner up got. 95,000. So what's the range here for A? It's 1,80,000. This is the difference. For B, can I calculate the value for B? No. Because winner got 48,750. So definitely the second first runner will get less than that. And how many votes are left here? 3,25,000 minus 48,750. The range would be somewhere close to what? 2 lakh something. Yes or no? Even if I assume that the remaining people got zero votes here. What about C? It's 1,40,006 and the other person 1,30,006. So for C, the difference must be how much? 10,000. Exact difference is of 10,000. What about D? For D, it's 46,250 and it's 37,500. It's 46,250. Then it's 37,500. So what's the difference here? 5, 7, then 15 minus 7 is 8. It's 8, 7, 5, 0. Although we don't know the value for B, but when you look among A, C and D, increasing order. That means your series cannot start with A. It cannot start with A. D and C will be ahead of A. That means correct order would be C, D, A. And somewhere between them, I'll put B also. So if you look at the options, it's D, C, A. For me, it should be C, D, A. Fine. So if you look at this one, he's saying which of the following cannot be the list of the constituency in the increasing order of the winning margin. Increasing order. The highest margin among these three is for A. D, C, A. Should be D, C, A. Increasing order. How many options will follow this one? D, C, A. This is C, D, A. No. D, C, A. D, C, A. D, C, A. So this is not going to be the answer which will follow the given margin. So which of the following cannot be the list of constituencies in increasing order of the margin? This order is incorrect. Here to everyone. Let's look at next one. What is the percentage of votes polled in all total by candidates who lost their security? We have already solved this one. No? Look at this one. For all the four constituencies taken together, what was the approximate number of votes polled by all the candidates who lost their security deposit express as a percentage of the total valid votes? We know the complete data here. When you put the values here, we'll get how much? 20. Or I'll say lengthy one because there are two options which will follow this which are in the range of 23. We'll have to solve this completely. My answer is third option. 
this case slate this set was of moderate level of difficulty but this was doable at least three to four questions were doable out of these six questions thank you mm -hmm.